right, let's take the Corvette to its first car show. It's legal, so let's use it. Got it warming up, I'm gonna pull it out and put you on the camera. Let's drive over to the car show. Classic Cars of Atlanta. Over in the Alpharetta. Oh. That would be a nice seat part. Mustang. I like these. 
some more F bodies. Got a soft spot for F bodies. There's two Ferraris here, and these are older ones too. Uh, these are the real nice ones. Um, so even though red is technically what I consider my favorite color, just love how blue looks on cars. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice color. And it's really not too far off of the color of my Corvette. Check over my car. No leaks. <laughs> That's pretty good. Sam 3 here. There's a small child in that intake. I <laughs> found the Corvettes. This is inside the Gateway Classic warehouse. This is 79 with a nice rear spoiler. Um, this car it says it's an L82. See if it says it on the. Uh, it's too dark to see, but yeah, should be an L82 then. It's kind of rough. It's not show car, but just driver quality. But the seats, I've never seen seats like this. It's like a mix in between the 79 and 82 seats and the previous ones. Very interesting. Four speed auto though. Alright, here's a 78. I need to get one of these plate cover in the front because without it, it just looks bad. There's a 78 special anniversary badge. Same thing. So that's 79. All oh, these seats are a little thinner than that one that was in the 79. These are the correct ones. Some sort of CV radio with a GM sticker. L82 four speed, so it's just like mine. Another L82. I can't think all of these are. Oh wait, that one right there is not L82. Um, yeah, this one they want 30 grand for. This is a 78. But it has that oyster color interior uh, with the beige, beige tan color carpet. Pretty nice, and it has the radio, um, so that's pretty cool. That steering wheel looks so small, but. I I need a nice steering wheel like that in mine. Has the, the rear spoiler, three compartment uh, storage, and then glass T-tops with that blue tint to it. Uh, real nice. But it's just a shame to see 78s when they're not in that two-tone color that, you know, like, when I think of 78, I think of that two-tone color. Now this one, this one kind of has my color. Uh, so my color is more of a blue. This is tealish. I don't know. It's it's close, but not the same. Pretty cool. And on this one. Wow. Oh, I got side pipes like that. All right. <laughs> Fifty grand. Can you guess what car this is just by seeing the interior? It's a four speed. This would be a really cool car to own one day. This is a nice looking MGB, um, but I took a closer look, and fortunately, they didn't close the top properly. Well, I can't really blame them. I didn't know how to properly close it until someone told me. <laughs> Definitely looking for a C10 like this. It's probably an older one. The 85 Monte Carlo SS. I think these are really cool family cars. They have pretty nice looking interiors. There's a nice C4. Uh, only C4 I saw. Yep, only C4 here. It's got a dash pad in it. <laughs> <laughs> like mine had. And it's the tune port injection one.
it's running better than ever. All right, we successfully brought this to a car show and brought it back. Um, that's amazing. This car drove fantastic. And th that was the first car drive I've ever taken on it, on it really. And it was about a 15 and 20 minute drive each way. Um, so that's awesome. Really happy with how well this car drives. Um, this car has been sitting for 20 years, over 20 years now. And to come back, bring back to life and be able to drive it like that with no issues really is incredible. Now we have little stuff to figure out like the speedometer is not working um, and I gotta confirm whether the gas gauge works or not. That's all to come. Um, also I, I think I figured out why the the fast idle when the choke's running is so high. That's a problem I've been struggling with ever since I got this car running and I think I finally figured it out. So eventually I'll make a video and fix that problem. We have all these little problems to fix, um, cosmetic stuff to deal with, so much more, but you know that's just to come and it's perfect. I have plenty of things to do with this car. Um, one of the great things about a project car is I only have stuff to do with it. Now with the Spitfire, um, obviously there's stuff to do to it always, but at the same time, this car the Spitfire is so much more sorted than this Corvette. And that's just because the Corvette's been sitting for 20 plus years and this car got restored. <laughs> so it's just the difference between the two. Even though I love this car, this car is always going to keep me busy. And that is really what I love. So I want to thank you for watching. Um, there's plenty more to come, so if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And you'll see plenty more on this 79 Corvette L82 4-speed. Alright, thank you for watching.